driver hooks that's yours correct and you can delete you can check those documents is not worthy to edit okay which is like i just i just need to put login functionality then login functionality because i have pom already right in my account i can run with pom whatever you think is worth it then you push that okay and uh, you have my driver you can use my driver as well uh see you fark thank you for coming today we almost done already so we'll continue for the other part quick so now commit and push put something name on it update commit and push and push one more wait so now look what it says Mervan to Mervan branch that's what we want first and then I'm gonna upload and it's gonna come to my, uh, my branch so which one you're pushing right now that's what is exactly show you login functionality that's it Mm -hmm. right push now pushing code okay you have to log in you haven't logged in yet you have to authorize or authorize the github okay you've been authorized close this Okay, what it says, show details in console. Push permission to. Hmm. It's probably permission about. Uh, permission to. Make up your okay. it's, it's about my permission. I have to arrange this. I haven't arranged it, I guess. But that's how you do, guys. Okay, this is how you do it. That's it. Now, go back. Okay, that's not a big deal. We can figure that out. Uh, when I fix that, I can see your code and I will get the, uh, um, you know, what is that called? Approval. Then I will give you approval. So it's already gone now. So the thing is, right now, you're in this Mervan branch. Whatever you do, do your folder. Don't mess up with my folder. If you messed up my folder, don't ever commit and push. You can play around in my code here. It's fine. But if you commit and push, and if I accept that without checking, then I will concept, uh, you know, hold is going to mess up. Just do your full exactly. Change so the, the, yeah. I would work right here under this, this folder. Exactly. And let's say when I'm ready, I try to push it and push yeah. it. Then, it, then when we finalize, would I see my code under somewhere here, or how would that happen? Uh, what do you mean? So let's say I pushed some of my code. Let's say mm -hmm. I pushed my base poem, mm -hmm. and then you approve. Would I see my base poem here, or? Uh, no, you will see the, how it looks, but you can move that inside. If I tell you move that inside, you can move it. Do it. You do it now. You'll see. Move that base bomb inside. Mm, no. Uh, Doesn't move. Let me see. Maybe some. It should it's, move. You know, something is wrong with my the the folder type is what is it. Something yeah, in... yeah, it's it's moving. Refactor. Oh, okay, like that. Let's see. Yeah, refactor. Yeah. You see? Okay. That's yeah. what it is. And then, uh, you commit and push this. Now I'm gonna show you. Is a good question. Commit and push. Commit and push. Make sure you just commit and push this one. Nothing else. So, yep. If you commit and push my, uh, there will be cause a lot of problem. 
Don't push this. Cancel it. Cancel it. I'll show you something. Another important things. Stop the commit and push to. Yeah. And go back to project. Now, open my workplace. Open one of the, my steps. I want to see something. Yes. For example, when you inside getting here, click inside, make a one little space somewhere, somewhere. This is recorded by GitHub. Now commit and push, you will see what happens. Look, look, this is the tricky part. You see, at my, my class, if you ever accidentally commit and push with that space, what's going to happen? It's going to change your, your code. No, it's going to mess up the whole framework. You're going to make a conflict because you are playing with the master branch code you should not supposed to touch. It's a framework. You should just do your work and commit the push and code you updated or you created. You cannot touch the framework because it's already repository. Meaning, if you commit and push, it's going to make a conflict on the same code. Right now, this code is already in repository, and you made the change in the master branch. That's why you should not do anything like that. Even if you did accidentally, you just want to check and read, uh, make it blue line. But you will see on the left side, you see the change is happening, it will bring it to you. Do you want to commit and push? No, 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 no. I don't want that. Do at the same time, mine, and then the your test, and you will see what's going to come. Stop this and go to project. Yeah, cancel that and go to project. Go to project. Yeah, open, open, edit, edit nationality. <laughs> Leave space somewhere right you check in code right and then now go back to your yeah. test in folder feature files feature files right you make some changes click inside and go something leave space right little change now commit and push look at that it's important this is very very important look what it comes mine and yours which one you supposed to commit and push you want to call it commit and push no 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 no. listen which one you're supposed to commit and push i only need i think just just the one i'm, I'm exactly if you commit and push mine it will be messed up don't do that but it comes there that i wanted to show you if you touch accidentally in my code it will bring to you and then select that's why we made that mistake a long time uh, that always get the conflict. We couldn't uh, merge it. Always got the conflict message, conflict message, conflict message. We cannot even see our code. A whole framework messed up. Octai knows that. Think about you got a job. Even Coach Mustafa said the example. One of the, my friends was like, commit and push accidentally wrong and conflict and the whole framework is gone. Then you fire, you know, or something like that. But he's not fired. I'm just giving you one of the most important things you have to understand and remember. I hope it's clear. And other than that, um, we're done. Yeah, um, uh, Yoldash, is there any chance that you could do like two minutes uh, round down one more time? The reason is that because I did three different videos and I don't want to post those. You know three different videos if you could just say you go here you copy paste this 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 two minutes run down sure. please sure. thank you uh can you open are you ready Octai? sure oh okay yep Marwan, uh can you go file first of all can you close the file uh right there marwan file marwan file down mm. on the left side project okay. No, no, on the left side project. No, not that one. Closed. No, no, no. All the way I down. Was saying, I was saying in the project, 
left side navigation bar project yeah okay you, yeah click that stay here yeah that folder make it like a, a only a single folder make it a single folder okay yes, perfect. perfect okay and now open my java my test java yes yes perfect stay here now so now guys listen if i wanna add my code i wrote i i just finished my framework and i want to push commit and push my repository my local repository my, my master branch i need you to go first file file open the code you wrote recently recently open recent any code just open one mm -hmm. perfect um now but it says this is the project you've been working you want to push which folder you want to push marwan's folder right yeah, change the name one. that not conflict because there is the same name test just say test or just put emily test how about that just put emily test because we already have marwan yes right organize uh files already everything inside right perfect mm -hmm. just copy the only mle test perfect and go to my uh yeah go to my uh intellij which is like master branch yeah okay so now where are you right now are you in your local branch? <laughs> yes, it says Marijuana yeah. branch. That's what we want. Now, paste this inside this SRC folder that everybody can see Emily's code. What happened? Not Somehow, it doesn't go through maybe you close or something or maybe the same or underneath the emily uh, marwan uh, okay don't you have to do it. one more time yeah, you okay have to get well, we, we go back a window keep to this window open copy mm -hmm. go back src src Paste. Yep. So okay. also we need to say add. Okay, so what, we need to add, what we need to add, which one is worth it to add? We have base form already, right? We have everything. Yeah. If you believe this is what you should to add, you need to talk to your lead. Just add everything. It's okay. But if you think it's not, then don't add it. Okay? All right, so you add it. Right. Now it's here. But do I know you add it or not? No, I don't know. How you do that? So you just commit and push. Commit and push. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure. Yeah, which one you want to commit and push? Just the login okay. feature. Let's say just login. Yeah. Mm hmm. Commit and push. Okay. Then push. And it shows again. What are you pushing right now? Emily's folders. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure it's Emily's folder. It looks like two folders there. You see? There's also really my new really conflict too. You know, that's the other things you have to see. What I am exactly committing and pushing, choosing, am I right or wrong? Otherwise, it's not going to be conflict. All right, just say push. Let's see what's going to happen. You see, uh, you have to log in. That's why it's not keep pushing. It's not. It's not doing. But wait. I think uh, you haven't logged in manually your GitHub long time i guess that's why it's giving that uh problem since cannot you also already create a branch just wait 
have you opened the URL? Chrome? I can see my... Can we try one more time? Because I have my account in uh, Google. Just try to log in your account while he's logging in here. Uh, uh, it's, it's right here. I already logged in. Already logged in. Can you can you go back to uh, can you go back to um, URL, GitHub? Okay. Go to settings. Uh, yes. Yeah, sign out. Sign in. Sign out. Sign in again. Okay. It would be right here. Yeah. Do you know your uh, Do you remember your Yeah. I believe so. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Uh, go back and tell you what it what it looks like. Okay. So that's a signing problem. If you don't have it, so you're able to commit and push. It will say, uh, able to commit and push. Then I can see it's coming from Mervan branch. That's how we do it, guys. Okay. That's it. You see, it's failed because login problem. Permission to check. Okay, and I will. I will also check that too. Uh, but you, you got the idea, right? That's the most important. That's the logic you need to know. That's the logic you need to know. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so now, now we are done for the version control. That's how we run the version control in real work, real job. Okay. That's how we work on it. That's how we create cases and the moving this. We're done this techni technical part. So now I'm going to quick review my code. Review my code. You can stop some marijuana sharing. I'll share. And then we'll be done today. Okay. We'll be done today. All right. So like I said, everybody has their own framework on codes that you create. When you go to work, when you're working in a sprint, a user story, my question is, do you create every time a framework? Oh, you leverage the existing code. Exactly. And then what if the framework already exists? What would you do? Framework already exists. There's a master branch. Mm -hmm. So what would you do? Um, I think just add, add the new code for the new functionality. Change, change yeah, the and new only features, only features, or the um, like XMLs, right? Mm -hmm. Or just step definition, right? Mm -hmm. Or the base form. That's all you need in your framework, mm -hmm. your local framework. But the master branch, which is master uh, framework, already has everything. What? base pom, um, base uh, driver, but you need your driver, of course, you have to test on your local place, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to load utils. You don't need to commit and push uh, XML files if you do parallel testing, right? You need to just to add a features that helps. So uh, what is this uh, features? It adding feature for nationality. Yeah. What is different than yours? There's a bank account feature. There's another feature. There's another feature. You adding the feature that will help me to run. You're done in my master branch. Does it make sense? Yes. You almost, I have a question. What is my uh, local re repository? Like, local is it the one after, after I clone your code, I created my branch and start adding the folders? Is this mm -hmm. the one or I had for cloning? Your yeah. repository, I had other projects. Which one is? Good close. Good co question. Uh, the local repository, Marwan, is basically the local computer you're working on it with your IntelliJ, any kind of project. Right now is local. Right now is this is local. At the same time, this is master because it's the project already shared in GitHub and you guys using as a framework. Mm -hmm. But you whatever you do with my project it's local 
your own place that's local yeah. right that's how we say even like this quote the how it said this is a local variable local this area only but global is in here whole class so the t- same thing okay when you create your branch you i i need to also create my branch by the way right because i'm a QA tester too i need to create my branch say yoldas different than master branch i will i wouldn't touch the master branch right because i will get more step uh, i will get more features right my project i will get different type of uh things that i have to test well i need to add features feature files four five six seven eight but the pom is pom to common xml files xml files utils are driver utils for master branch i need my own branch every single this things that i can test it my functionality works properly okay that's what is uh, about local branch you need to create and work on your work and one now qu- well, i'm sorry one question so who creates yes. the master file oh is the qa Me. lead QA huh? lead. yes qa lead uh whoever is like good at this uh whatever know whoever knows better you know bit pick up uh, git pick up bit pick up more something like that is a uh, different type of github version mm-hmm. control push to code they use bit locker like they... something like that huh? bit locker yeah bit bit bucket yeah yeah right. big bucket, bit bucket. Yeah. it's like a jira hm hl hl img or something like that we work github in our project that's what you're gonna say we push our codes and i'm waiting for the my qa lead uh you know, confirm that we can run. So now let's walk on. We're done with GitHub part. Okay. I hope you guys understand the logic. That's very important. And after that, how I did my master branch. So the, my framework, so you can adapt or modify your framework to why, while you're looking in your local branch. So what I did basically figure it out, what should I do? The test design, right? how should i design my test i said first add second edit three delete why because i want to run this order why is order because first has to be add second has to be this third has to be this that's why i give my name of that classes but, right but you could have put everything into one uh feature file and then you know how holly did yesterday exactly. you know pr- priority exactly. one priority two priority three that's up to you exactly that's up to you as long as works your mm-hmm. framework your test automation test works that's up to you i'm asking i'm telling you guys how i did it makes me like feel better i can control i can see the problems that's up to you i'm working under nationality this is the first one add functionality positive te- negative edit functionality Positive. There's no negative test case for this. Delete functionality. Delete positive. Delete negative. Look what I did here. What is this story outline? What is this table? Data table. And if you realize, data table, same looks line, but different usage, right? Yeah. It's under when. Story outline, under then which is like at the end of the story, end of the scenario use. And this call this name, but there is nothing called. Just say at the same nation name, at the, vera- uh, at the uh, datas. Look, I did also this for you too. One single line, data table. This is easy to use, you know this. Look, I made it also next to it and two different lines data table how to use and then story outline same story outline you can do other way like parameters too like how octai show like the elementary level which is fine as long as code is work but you can advance because your team has a functional team testing team they will come you should advance this code it's not look good you know they could say that and they could say maybe you should do with this data table and you have to listen you have to find out how data tables work and you have to fix that 
You, you cannot just say, oh, I'm done with my code. It's finished in one day. What if testing can come and this is not looks good? I don't like this. Change this. You have to listen. You know, I, I'm guessing you don't have the option to say, hey, I'm not good yep. at, uh, you know, data table. Can I just <laughs> go no. with this? <laughs> you cannot sit down like after a finish one day, simply your job and then like, uh, 15 days sleeping and watching TV show. No, what if they find out, you know, because of master branch, they see that, uh, that's why. Um, so what I did first, first, what I did first here, I create my packages. My plan is first packages. Second, after packages, I create my driver without driver. We cannot do anything, right? I create driver. Think about this is not exist yet. Okay. This is not exist yet, but I create this first actually, which is driver base. Why? As you guys know, driver base represent actually is the base driver that we all know how to use, how we learn from Holly. What I create another driver. Another driver, look what it is. Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge. Create others, cases that I can use for the parallel. That's why I use this driver and the other driver like this to separate. And you guys understand. But if you ask me which one you use, I use this one for every package. This one, you guys just, just see what is actually was what is improve advance right that's how it looks testing team will come say oh you need to do parallel testing driver right or they will not say that because since it's a master branch so you don't need to do it you just need to use this driver on your local repository you just need to push the code and then the driver will work for master branch anyway Right. Okay. So after this, I create my utils. I went to create feature files, right? I create the feature files. And then after feature files, you create your step definition. Feature files come from, by the way, test cases, Gherkin language, right? And then like, um, you create, um, Step definition, right? Step definition comes before writing code. And then hooks coming with step definition. So my hooks, look at this. Did you guys see here login functionality? Mm, nope. No, right? No login. Because I have nothing to do with login. That's not my job. But what I did, I create login page that will help me just for this page get the elements to log in and create the method that I can call just to login where hooks I just called it how do I call that class I created here login page in class globally create the new object LP, which is login page, new login page element. And I call that uh, class method I created. It automatically works. I don't need background here. Do I have background? You see, that's what is called. Testing team will come to you. Octai, mm -mm. you say three years experience. Mm -mm. I don't want to see background here. You don't do that. This is your job to do only edit functionality, delete functionality. Why would you put that? Delete that and fix and work on it. You've done your job actually. You create your cases, you fit for your job to learn how to do your advanced level coding. Oh, I see. So it looks much cleaner and uh, exactly. you know, you so and less space. Less I space, see. less code. Okay, because right? I didn't see the, the background. So 
by putting that uh, the the login functionality inside the hook class, so you don't actually have to put the background right. all the time. That's what I understood. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, right. That makes sense. And whoever come here, non tech guy, can see this easily and understand. Right. There's nothing complicated. That's what we want to do because we are going to work with stakeholders. We're going to work clients and etc. They will understand it. That's the point of BDD, behavior driven uh, development, right? Easy to understand application. Let's run this. After, don't worry about the runners right now. Those are details because you're not supposed to do, right? Runners run with the master branch, XML master branch. I'll show you yet, but utils create future files create a oh, base form by the way i have to explain i did login page first right after hooks edit so i put screenshots here tear down right i have to get screenshots how it showed this already i copied it paste right and um after that guys so what i did i went to my base form what i need to do I need to go create my elements. How did I organize this poem? So the poem mentality is like whichever application you work, you should organize. Homepage, login page, my account, this type of thing. But this application we work, right? It's basically your login page only, and then there's going to be one page only. There's nothing change. I call this navigation bar left. Dialogue content, this is like the same thing how it did actually. I leveraged to code. I'm just explaining how he planned that. Navigation bar, dialogue content, login page, and base form. What's the point of base form? By the way, this is a framework that unique, completely different than Howlet. By the way, it will help you to understand and advance your coding level because I find out with this, uh, our mentors, Raghup and uh, Abu Zer. They told me that you should create getter method that will help you organize and run better according to base POM, according to POM page object model. That's correct, actually. What Holly show us is okay to understand, but it's not perfect. This is perfect. I can say what they said. Meaning, navigation bar elements. You go here, uh, guys, find all these navigation elements, right? And you store here, navigation bar. That's the point of navigation bar, right? Elements mm -hmm. page. Look, clean. You see? Just the elements. But what 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 Octai and what other guys and what actually Halit show us? He putting methods here. He's he's not supposed to actually, because that's not matching pure mentality. Just keep the elements here. That's it. When I lose something about elements, I can focus element. And look, this is also method too. But I don't do anything here. But Halit did. Right? He's not supposed to do actually. So anyway, just keep the elements here and the get getter get get method. How do how do I create it? This look, I'm gonna give you a tip. Look, I'm deleting right now. Watch now. Do you guys see this? After find this, do you guys see this? Well, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Generate. You see, even you can bring the constructor if you want, getter, setter, everything you want. Overriding, getter method. And it will ask me which element you want to getter. All of them. CTRL, click. And bring all of them. You see? And then you organize these elements underneath locators. And it looks perfect. I'm done here. I'm done. Dialogue content. 
dialog content means here. Okay. And the dialog content means only these elements I need. Click, active, search, put, whatever you guys use. You see organize. And I can work on it better. Only elements here I need to work. Right? And then look. After that, just same thing, getter. I'm not going to delete, but that's how I did. It did it sells for me. Getter method. That's it. You see how organized? You already know this page. Done, done. What about this? What do you guys think is here going on? Who's going to tell? Um, uh, you, don't you create um, methods? Exactly. Like, Good you job. know, click, uh, find and click, wait yeah. until, wait loading. Exactly. Based on every single method that I want to do over and over and over and over and again, how many ever you want to, you just create here. Yeah. Then you're just going to pull that method and do it. But if you realize how it plan, always create a method, click, send, click, send, click, send. Right? So you're just going to create one method that always will do for you whenever assign, whenever assign any features. There's going to be always click. There's going to be always send key. There's going to be always something common. For that reason, what I did base form, wait still here, same. And then I create my method, first method. What is it? Wait until loading. Remember I was saying today, if you guys here, yeah. I was saying today, uh, this website has a loading issue on the top bar always right here that's that's how i create first one that issue and then like public void send key send key met method name i created and i put web element element string value why because send key must hold element and then also must hold value then I can create this logic whenever I call, I just need to put here the element I want to send. Make sense? Meaning, which element I want to send? Nationality element, right? Mm -hmm. Nationality here, this element, input, right? I want to send. What is this element called? Search input. So I need to put the search input here, right? This function I created, and then the value next to it. What is this method we're going to do after I add this? I said, go wait until clickable element, right? That's what we want. And also send the key element, send key, this value you added this function automatically will do that so where this method come this is a method by the way look i use this method inside this method so i have created wait until visible and clickable you always use this right mm -hmm. just use it here and one time and then scroll element do you remember this code ready Scroll until element seen. I haven't called it. I don't need it. Click function. Always, always. Do I need value for click function? No. Mm -hmm. But what I need for click function? Wait until visible clickable, which is this method. Will make it for me to wait. An element, which is the element I will enter here after I call this method. And it will just pull up the element that I want to click. Let's say adding button, mm -hmm. adding, and then it will click already inside this function. Uh, Select I have a function. Question. I have, um, Select. 
Yeah, you um, I was watching the Afra's um class the other day, and I noticed that she, she most of the time she uses like find then uh, send key, find then click. Is that where uh, she's doing that, or is that something that I don't you... know? I don't know. I didn't watch. To be honest, I'm okay. not gonna lie. This was a couple of weeks ago. I don't know what. Ago. Yeah, what she's doing. Uh, okay. But this is the best way mm -hmm. that we can figure, right? And I'm not saying I just find out this. I got help, of course. I work on this to bring you guys to understand easily also. Validation. Remember, we validate, assert, assert, whatever. Same thing. Create a one method. What do we use in assert class normally, right? We put the element here. We put the element to get text and then the contain the value. I just create a method that will make it for me. All I need to put element and the text. So everything this parameters is ready, huh? I put here and everything is a clear function. It clears the element. Sleep. Do you guys remember this? Yeah, thread that sleep. Yep. Yep, thread that sleep. Sometimes we need it. We have to write go exception these and that right i don't do that anymore i just call sleep and does do for me but my question um didn't Hadid said in real work environment you're not supposed to use third that sleep because that's so uh um it's it's not real i i don't think so he's not that correct sometimes you need to he used last time you saw in your eyes yeah he, he couldn't he, handle he, it need element <laughs> he couldn't even that said this bar is not working sometimes working is not sometimes working he's right because of the web application, but he literally used himself. Yeah. He tried, tried, tried. But the point of what we want to do, test the application. Who cares? Sleep or wait until one till whatever. There is no sin to use thread sleep. No any big sin. It's okay. As long as you want the application run and work, it's fine. That's the code. Yeah. But it's not ideal. I agree with him. I realize that sometimes give problem too okay so whatever this is the idea base point do you guys understand this part that's the huge yes. big things that you can handle yes if you understand this then you're ready to get a job i'm telling you i mean now now it makes sense you know now you showed um especially the getter um i have to check your um the your, your java one more time i mean yeah, remember i was talking cucumber. about this uh and i was even showing you i wasn't sure what to make clear i told you how it uh okay i will work on this with the mentors then i will figure it out I remember that yep which i, I was asking to mm -hmm. yeah now look i'm done here guys everything is ready All I need to call and do these steps which is like i'm going to steps right mm -hmm. So what I need to do, go to steps first, I created it, right? So what's the steps of that? Um, the first steps I created, let's start from here to understand. I created my getter method uh, POM, uh, inside POM, right? And then I created my method. So what I need to do in the steps definition, all I need to call this object on top that I created, by the way, how it create different way, don't get confused. He does this just only. He put this here, right? And then he called yeah. here. I actually oh, like sorry. this this way. I actually no. I yeah, actually do it do this, this way, way too. too. It's but much I did here. It's global, remember? Yep. Local, global. When you do local, you have to every yep. place you can use. Yeah, and with with Hal Halid's way, the way he showed, you have to always, you know, write it each time for each. Um, yeah. No. yeah. Okay, navigation bar. Why is navigation bar? Because my elements in the navigation by bar that I want to call first. Navigate. First navigate, right? I have to navigate after enter. This manually I do first, right? Parameters open parameter and the nationality first three things and then i do the first three things step nb what is mb the object i created navigation bar dot what function i am supposed to do i'm asking you right now once i enter click click nationality what what function i just did for three 
um, uh, navigation bar? Click function. Click function, yeah. Click function, right? Mm -hmm. I just call the click function that I created. Look, I'm going back there. You see click function I created mb dot click function. How this mb pull up this function from the all the way by base point? I said navigation bar, but it came from the click function. Look at the beauty of this base point and look at the navigation bar extended. That's why. Make sense? Yep. Look, navigation bar, navigation bar has nothing to do with this element. Yeah. Click function. But I go here, step definition. I call navigation bar, has no method. I just say click function. Why this works? Because parent and child situation base form right right here in the base form class look at navigation bar extend from the base form that's why okay and then i say nb click function when i call click function look guys i'll show you click function right i want to do click mm -hmm. look what's gonna happen you see it's come the element shows mm -hmm. just put element it says put element here enter and it's red it wants me to add an element I see. can you do the same thing for um uh, send key function can you say send key yeah, function exactly the same thing i'll do it one second okay i have an add element mm -hmm. so which element i want to click which element i want to click which element i want to click here first um, setup. setup yeah so what I need to call setup, I'm writing setup. Look at this now. It just came up itself, by the way, where this coming from setup getter method. Exactly. This is a method getter method. Look, I'm going to click this. It's going to bring it itself and I'm going there. Where is this? This is an element method. I created right here, navigation bar. And this method return type has a setup one. What is a setup one? I'm look, I'm going there. Element. Do you see that? Mm. So it basically go click this with this function here, right? And then this function here. I'm hiding every single details that I want to click, 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 click. No, I'm don't do here. I did already just doing it for me i call the method these are the method clean function method get up get a method for the setup uh, uh element now this is click again parameters right i'm clicking parameters and then click again now we get nationalities right i click now i'm here what i need to do add right we are in the add i need to add something click again but where I am right now, DC, what is DC? Dialog content that I created. I put my uh, elements there, right? And clean function again, DC, I create first and I call clean function because I need to click the uh, button this, right? Clicked it. And then I have to call the element. How do I call this element? add click element right all i need to say add button right add button mm -hmm. when i say that it comes here and then when i go here this method add button first you see that it's done after click and now it's coming to your question now i have to send it right how i'm gonna send it DC, still DC, stand key function. Oh, I see. And now, look, I'm going to do it for you. Click, I say send key because I know, mm -hmm. send, right? Mm -hmm. Function that I create, I click and it's give error. Why? Before even error, you can understand what type of things I gave this function method that I have to edit. Look what it says, web element, you have to add 
comma and, and the, string value. value. These are the parameters it will read and do it for you. So what parameters you want to add? Element, right? Which element? The send key elements, which is this input. This is an element. You have to send. You have to say the element name, right? And then you have the string value. You have to add the value, right? Mm -hmm. I say send key. So the element input, right? Mm -hmm. You see? Which one you want to... Uh, give search. I mean, yeah, I mean, name, get input. name input. I'm sorry, get name input. Yeah, not get search. Name input. Exactly, because that element, that element right here, look, mm -hmm. name input, name input. This name input, this is the one, make sense. Yep, and then one second. And then, and then I have to put my value. My, What's the value? The the name that you're gonna give. Exactly. What is that name? Look, I'm going to my method. Uh, I'm I'm going to my feature. This name one. It calls the, the every single things. Yep. Story outline. Yep. Scenario outline. Sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the name keep going, keep going, keep going. And then the clink function. Save button, uh, bring the save button. That's it. And I'll show you, look, I'm running this scenario only. And you will realize something about scenario outline right now. So the basically the scenario outline, it's a good outline and organized and easy, but keep running the Chrome over and over and over again to send the data you'll see i'm running the a unit code unit testing this test okay i want to see did i write the code and it's working Everything is like ex expected. You see, I didn't even put the login. Login just came automatically open and will log in right now. By the way, uh, if you remember the background things. Mm -hmm. What happened? Yeah, I've been running for this. Maybe happen this second, guys. I've been running for everything, parallel testing and whatever. Let's do one more time. Yeah, it's do parallel testing. I, I have to close the parallel testing things. But does it make sense everything yeah, right now it makes sense yeah makes sense right it's yeah. a more clear more understandable everything yeah now uh, now i kind of yeah i understand more better now um you know uh, you know you, you see like you said the, the other day or yesterday you know you have to like play with it you know explore and exactly. that's the thing I just don't have time to explore. But now, you know, you see, you show me, you know, you know, every single, you know, important pieces. I think I'm just going to apply to my um, next um, Cucumber project. Yeah, this is not really like perfect, perfect. This can be improved too. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, uh, everyone can do their own things. Still, what can like pass and everything can happen. You should be ready to understand that uh, you will be asked, you will be asked you about know, to improve your code and these and that. But you know, I don't, I don't understand this. You know how you know you show the trick. You know, 
Uh, uh -huh. You know, you could like just do, you know, log in by putting on the hook class and stuff. Why Halit just, instead of like showing how to do it, why he just doesn't like do a, like a demo. Hey guys, you know, you guys don't have to do this, but I'll just do a demo so you guys can watch the video again. This is how you do, or this is how you use getter, getter and setter methods, you know, for locating elements and stuff like that, or why? Uh -huh. That's a good question. Yeah, but, but you should ask that Halit. Yeah. So probably Halit knows that. So I don't know seriously what he did, but this is the best I check with mentors. Mm -hmm. They also do the, by the way, their jobs in their current jobs. They do this way too. It's up to you. Halit, I guess he works like that. That's why he wanted to show. Uh, I think the, I the, other, to, the yeah. other day, so I'm sorry, the other day when I was talking with Raghav, you know, Raghav was like, oh, you know, Holly only can show, you know, certain stuff on, you know, within that six months, you know, he doesn't have time to, you know, to show everything, every single tricks and details to you, you know, he, uh -huh. yeah, he tried to say something like that, but yeah. Okay. So for now, guys, uh, I'm not sure I, what I did yesterday night I was working. So, but this is the idea. This mm -hmm. is the things. Since I've been doing like a uh, parallel test and everything, it's just like, I need to work on it a little. Mm. It's, it's working. Okay? okay. This is the things you have to under. This mm. is not a bug. It's working. Uh, this is the way we do, but, uh, for the, this part, I will explain quick. And then, uh, the, un, uh, the mentality is like this. Then after that, it co comes like so easy, so easy. I just need to improve these details and then it will come so easy. So. The data table mentality works like this logic. You just go to method that uh, data table. So once you add this, right? Same thing. User add the same nation name, negative test case done with data table. Data table, this part is the same thing. Navigation part, you get come to navigate to your uh, application, clicking, clicking, clicking. And the data table, if you remember how it was doing this way, put data table, data table, and the list list, right? And then you just call all this part same, how it did class. And then you just call send function. Why? Because you have to enter the name, right? Yeah. With the data table, right? We're mm -hmm. on the same page now. You open this first, after click, you have to call the data table. You see, there's no parameters or anything like this here. Just data table as a parameter. So you need to call that data table, you, you put it here, these names, right? What you need to do, you need to go create this list, inside list, list 2D list, and then put data table as list and put this to, by the way, these are added later. It's not coming, right? You have to edit. And then because uh, data table creation doesn't bring parameters. And then you add the for each, not for e, for each. And then the list, you create data variable and put this data, which is inside the data variables, variables, data, and then call this data with as a value remember this is the value part remember this is the same web element you're calling send function mm -hmm. right and then the data dot get zero it's like index right that? zero yeah what does that mean that means array list as an array list mm -hmm. if you look up here all these in the single line actually represent the first zero index. That's why. Okay. So that's why when you have a single data table, just like this, by the way, this is not single. I will show you this too. That's why I made it. You just need to call single data table with this piece of code right here. Always same, nothing change this and the value and it will keep generating keep generating this value one two three 
four. All right, but it's better than story scenario outline. Why? Why? Because it is helping you adding the saving the exact same place. It's not opening again over and over again. Story outline open the driver from the beginning. Add the one value and go back close and open again, go back close. But data table, do the same place here. Save, get the answer and click here and do it again. That's the data table beauty. Uh, I'm trying to show you, let me try to show you with the runner class if I can. If I can, let me do the smoke test quick. Hopefully this works. Uh, but the name supposed to be not edit. I hope it's not edit. Let's see. Not anything here. Book class why it's open. Use credential. Interesting. Just yesterday was working. You see, this is a technical team situation. So technical team like right away, find out the problem. So I can too, uh, I can too, but um, I have actually don't know why is doing this. It shouldn't do that. It should open this hook class setup. It's calling. Uh, anyway, I'll find out and try to help. So that's how data table works. Single line. Okay, that's how, we, how it works. So I'm going to show you this and then we'll be done because these are the same scenario outline. Um, but this is the different. I just want to show you how to use this data table editing. So I want to get this one first, second, this second, third, fourth, correct? So you're just going to go see what we did. Second. Okay, editing, same thing here. I'm done here, right? For the clicking function, navigation bar, and then wait until loading. That's kind of like a tricky part I said here, I edit later after I was testing long time night, by the way. And then like, I add this, that helps to wait. Then here's the data table. You create the data table again here, right? And then the same list, as you see, I told you. This time, if you realize there is no for each. You see, there is no for each. Yeah. The one has for each because the single line. Remember? Mm -hmm. I have single line represent here. I need to call the get zero only index. Then it will all be anyway zero. That's why. So now, think about the idea same. Right? Idea same. For this one, zero represent zero. Zero represent one. Zero represent two. Just like that going, right? If you think that. So what I did, what I did, I create the list inside the list. And then I call the data right i call the data by the way i tried this long long time to find out it works like this um so this helps send function again this is the search input right editing search input right here we click edit and then we have to add something here right we call that data table value here with this uh parameter that helps to call get the from the zero index zero meaning it's like the array list think about right 
it's like an array like this. Right? Mm -hmm. Think about like this. So what is this called inside array? This, and then um, this, and then go like this, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to call, this is 2D list, by the way. I want to get this one. I have to call 0 to 0 because there is also array 2 outside. So I have to specifically say that this is the array I want to call, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm getting inside the array to array that will help me to find out, right? If it's like this array, I have to get 0 to 0 this one because this is the index 1. This is 0 to 0 1. This is 0 to 1 index. This is something else, 0 to, uh, I don't need this one. Oops. This one is basically, it's like another array that not include inside this, right? Things like that, you have to find out on your own. I tried a lot. So this is the way uh, how you get zero to zero. Okay, and this will code piece of code, unit code, all right, unit testing, will help you to bring each and every single here. So let's say if you want to call out one of them. So what happened if you say zero two? So then mm -hmm. you would get... It will find nothing. So all you need to add next to it. All right. So when you add next to it, you will figure out what it bring or not. It will get ex exception. That's how I found out. Try, try, try. Okay. So the logic behind is like the 2D list array. No, okay. That's what it is. No, no. The, I was saying that the second row, you know, FR22... Um, this one is that still considered zero or is that considered um... zero? Uh, yeah, that's why it's bring it. Okay, still if we say zero. Okay, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you have to give it a try. I tried a lot. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, all of those is like this, guys. Uh, the most part. Once you've done this, okay. Once you've done this. What you do is basically is creating XML, creating um, runners. So runners will help you to run the whole test that you want to, uh, you know, get report and everything daily. Remember, we were talking. So for that reason, so you need a runner class to report. Why? Because you can plug in the report. That's the whole part. They're going to ask you a question. All right. So um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run. Uh, I'm going to try to see um, one more time. Do you guys run anything from my repository or anything? It's called conflict or something. I'm trying to figure out. Shouldn't, but. I haven't done anything yet. Okay, let me close this quick and I'll open one more time. I'll give it one more try. Because I literally tried yesterday, it was working. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is like a simple issue that testing team can handle it. Um, my code's already here, I share GitHub. So you guys can also look at GitHub too. And Do we have access to your GitHub? Uh, I think so. You, you can access. Did you click? What am I clicking on? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I do have access. To, I believe I do have. Yep. I can do. you see okay? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I do have access to your GitHub, but let me see. Let me check. Yep, I do. I see it. Okay. You see, it's about little IntelliJ. Um, it's not open right now. I don't know why. Uh, the thing is, I want to say, when you have IntelliJ, when you're working a project, don't update. 
I didn't update either. I don't know why is my IntelliJ acting creepy. Let me stop my screen first and see. Anybody has question? Anybody has anything? Because we're officially done. How we do it, how we handle it. If you understand, I'm telling you today was the day mm -hmm. you learned the job. You can get a job. If you answer, if, if you understand every single part I explained today, you can get a job. I can guarantee you, but I will not guarantee you study. I will not guarantee you do uh, on your own interview preparation. You have to do it. So you have to prepare yourself every single question that you've been asked. And I will share the documents. Other than that, you're ready to for UI testing for now to get a job. To be honest, I hope things to... make clear today no, in your I head. actually did, man. Thank you for your time. You know, uh, you spend, you know, four, well, five hours, you know, trying to, you know, explain us from, you know, scratch. You know, we appreciate it. I mean, mm -hmm. thank no you, problem. man. Thank you guys coming because this is not just for young, one side. We also get help from you as a lead position. I never had this project. I never had experience anything like this. I'm experiencing with you. Otherwise, don't think I'm working anywhere. I have a job. I have anybody like learning from this. All this like I do for you guys put me in this situation. Just want to give you as a lead position how it should be. And you guys understand better. Thank Otherwise, you. if you didn't give me this position, I will not stay. <laughs> like I said, thank you, Yolbush, man. Yeah, I learned so much today, you know. You open brain, uh, open mind today. Yep, definitely. Except I should not delete it the last part. No problem, guys. Um... If you want to ask question, you can ask, and, and I then I'm going to say maybe, maybe maybe sometimes next week, maybe on the next project. Um, can you also maybe I don't know you do like the screenshots and stuff if you can show it not today but next time when we do our next project maybe is, is there any chance that you can like give it maybe five to ten minutes how to do like screenshots. Yeah, of course. I will go deep into whoever individually reach me out. Want to understand my piece of code that I created, I made it. So I will explain you deeply. Just, you know, reach me out. You okay. guys can see my screen? Yep. Okay. Yes. One more time. Okay. Before running that, once you create your runners, this is the runners you already know from how. You create like this. You can put smoke, you put plug in, simple report. One of the report daily, remember weekly, uh, monthly, you have to give one simple report, right? I gave you example, look, as a proof that I already created, I ran this, this is already created. You see, smoke reports, smoke reports. <coughs> well, it was working before. I believe after uh, sharing GitHub, something happened. I don't know. We'll see. But um, one of the reports that you can create mm -hmm. simply, just like this ones, uh, that will help you to get daily work for your QA lead, business analyst, PO to share, right? This plug in. Uh, second will help you this is the first way with runner class how let's show this and you put smoke on top right text and the feature files that already has to that's why it's run all right and then like um regression you want to do regression right you can do the regression mm -hmm. Yeah, something uh, wrong with IntelliJ. It was showing. I showed you, right, this morning? This yeah, report? you did. Yeah, okay. Um, and then regression test, you want to call. But if you realize this plug in different. Yeah. This plug in for master branch, master report. How did I find this? I found this 
from my friends and also for my, uh, you know, Google research that will give you pretty. And also how it show you this, but how do we get this? Oh, JSON how format. I see that right there, Jason. Jason format, but don't worry about this okay. format. The master report basically help you looks better, pretty. Remember he was mm -hmm. saying pretty means looks better. This looks ugly. <laughs> It does not looks perfect. This simple report. But if you get this, this helps you. Where can better. we get this from? I mean. Perfect. You can get from me. And how do you get this? You have to go to poem. You have to run from here. Basically. This is an also dependencies you have to create on your poem. Example for the master report. You see master okay. has to come here. So then uh, you're going to run this, which is I run already. I'll show you mm -hmm. coming from here. All right. This is the pretty looking. If it's open, hopefully. I already showed you this morning too, if you guys remember. I don't know. It's going to open. Yeah, perfect. This is you see, It just like give you idea report daily. You can mm -hmm. use the features. Click the features, just see the features. Mm -hmm. You see? Do you guys remember this in the beginning of the course? Coach Mustafa was showing which fail, which pass looks like this, right? Yeah, something so, like this, yeah. Yeah. I mean, scenarios. You see scenarios, steps. You can go text, you can see the report. You just want to copy and paste this, your story. I'm done. My job is done. Right? That's not how it's actually shown because all of them fail. Um, I'm just showing how to get that. And then, uh, you can get also other report that created when you run that POM XML master report for this runner class. And then you can do parallel. How do we parallel this? Also, I learned from, uh, Google and the friends. Okay. This is not, I, I know, okay. I, I just leverage the code. The only thing I'm too smart nothing is too much good for me okay i'm just learning too and it just like how it runs the parallel code you have to put this your driver that will help i will explain every single this by the way i don't know even if i copy paste but i learn this create driver that you can call remember we were calling before to parallel test this helps to do that Okay, I will explain if you ask me. This help parallel test. Look at this here. 04 test runner parallel test. And mm -hmm. look at here. Mm -hmm. see? Yep, I see it. it right there, represent this. That's what I put it name. Oh, okay. I can put Yoldash here, but you will be confused. But I made it you to understand this actually represent here. You cannot mm -hmm. run this here. But I run this here because I have nothing to do with other things. I just create simple report or pretty report okay. for master branch you cannot run this here wider i have already said that for the parallel you have to do xml you have to go to xml and you know this already on the classes which class you want to call parallel for for you have to put runners firefox chrome right click run and it will generate it will generate parallel test. Did you Where include uh, Firefox in your driver? I'm sorry. What's that? Did you include your um, Firefox on your um, driver? Of course. You see, also it creates re report too. Look if it's going to run. See. Oh, pass. Pass so quick. Okay, and um, so for that things uh, parallel, you were asking. Mm -hmm. Yes, I put a Chrome in my driver right here. This is my driver class. You see. Mm -hmm. And remember, I told you this is the base driver. I put it here, you guys, to see the difference. Normally, it was like this, and then it's improved this way. Do I use base driver? No, not at no. all. I don't use at all. 
Do I call base driver anywhere? No. no. I just put it here. I want you to see how it's improved to like this, to make it parallel. Whenever yes. you call, it's going to call this. So yeah, oh, Fox, no. Firefox, the, the Edge, and then Safari, all the other stuff. I see. You just don't have two. You have more than two. Exactly. Okay. And then extended report. So this extended report, mm -hmm. as you see, set is a set so what is represent this extended report represent so what is extended report runner does extended report add my name and everything remember show you this morning mm -hmm. spark plugs right here that i create report if it's still working this is another pretty report that you can share when you work in a real environment how so this do is you my generate report. this spark plug i don't know if you mentioned it today but... yeah you see the old dash you can add this that's how it looks which pass which fail uh every single details is here this this generated when i run this runner automatically par right par parallel this is not a parallel parallel mm -hmm. run xml this is not a parallel this what is this then this is only helps you to run extended report you need this xml to do that why because it's make it pretty look like this you see dark here because i made dark you see you can choose the standards gonna be like you have to write uh you have to be right like this you see, it's already guiding you. Once you change this, all right? Once you change this, you're just gonna go, just gonna go put right here. Just gonna try to run. If it's gonna create, if I'm not wrong, it will make it white because I changed the background. I hopefully it's run. I believe since I use the GitHub, my um, project little messed, uh, but it's okay. It's running now. Uh, why is O2? It's kind of weird. This might be bugged, by the way. Seriously. It shouldn't be this way. Because I already run. Yeah. Okay. And then like, uh, let's stop here. So this is, this is show you that you can add those names on here. You see extended report system environment that will help you put here, but you can put here MLE, we can hear anything. Okay. This is five. This is five. You just use this to make something change. And then the six right here, parallel six parallel testing it's must be run here or here here right because like i said parallel testing only run xml you have to call firefox right which browser you want to call and then this is going to give you extended report as well with this report and then the master report basically run by the master uh all you need to do right click and uh, master parallel, making master parallel. So ma master class, master uh, report. This is the last things I'm gonna say, and I'm done. Uh, run in the pom. Master report, master. Everything mm -hmm. is in the same, in one place, which is um, this one. I already have an example. This is the master report. I already show you. Right, this one. See, this is the master report, it's open. You see, this is master report, how it looks. It's everything like on the one place, scenarios, steps, statistic, e exactly everything. Fail, passed, 50 fail, 50 skipped. Every details you click, 
steps, failures you can go. This is the master report you should give. You see, even duration, steps, you click this, you see this. It's like everything is here, literally. But how do you do this? I'll show you and then I'm done. How do you do this? You have to go to POM. You have to go to POM. All right, you have to make this open, right? You have to make this open. You have to bring this, otherwise not gonna work. Even includes two. And this too. Okay. And what it says, three test runner regression. Three test runner regression. You see master report. This is the master report uh, plugs in. And this is basically this. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to run and I'm done. Uh, you just go to POMXML and active this. Okay. Active this. Um, and then run. For example, you can say this one for the master report parallel, but you have to run from here, right? That's a parallel testing. You cannot run here, but this one, you just need to update this first. Okay. Uh, after that, just wait. You're going to go to Maven. It's still resolving. Okay, Maven, right? Click this life cycle. First, you should clean the project. By the way, this is another way you can make sure your project uh, clean up what's wrong, what's everything start from the beginning. I should have done that. And then like build it, right? Build the project one more time, cleaned up. I think I'll just show this already. I think so. Yeah, and then you're gonna do test once it finish. I'm waiting, and then it's gonna run to master because you include it here. Okay, and then you click this, and then it's running. So once it finish, it will give you this. Okay, it's running now. Okay, guys. Um. That's what we do, and you can do your project on your own. Just add this feature, okay, still working. At this feature, runners, reports, utils, XML, that will help you to get reports daily basis. You got a job, then you can report. Million dollar you, question, you, I'm you sorry. Million dollar question before we go. So okay. is this what um, tester goes through every single day? You think every single today? Like like from you gonna have you had the one day to test their life. Okay, but no no no. I, I mean you, you know you had lot lots of file on your cucumber you know project. Is that many things that we supposed to have as a tester, or is this just is this something that you just did over and beyond? You know what I mean? The target, the, I know. the sparks. Yeah, I know. That's what is your tester looks like. Exactly like this. Why? Mm -hmm. Remember the test plan we read? You have to have report daily. Yeah. You have to update the team. Even yeah. team you don't update, there is a testing team who will come to you and say, what is this Oktai? What is this Nigar? Why is this like elementary kids uh, testing? Where is your report? Where is this? Why you did uh, scenario outline. Why not data table? Use data table. If mm -hmm. those two guys tell you something, you must do it. There is no other way. How is your current work boss says do this, do that? You know, that's what your job. I see. So if someone can come up to you, let's say your QAD, then says, "Hey, a tie, oh, tie. I, I, I need, I need a test report or I need a screenshot." You know, just because we had that validation and it passed, that doesn't mean that okay, let's just have a coffee. I'm good to go. It's not like that, right? <laughs> it's not like that. It's unfortunately not like that. So, uh, but you have to do, uh, 
like on your own, whatever job you apply, uh, whatever you want to get. So you can do that way. But if you realize, look, there was a hundred reports, remember? Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yeah. Because something wrong with my application, my uh, IntelliJ, when I run the generate the code, is the whole report is gone. You see, but I ran this before. I'm glad that I can show you, but it's gone. Because update, you see, it's gone. Only what I have is literally no report. Yeah. Everything is gone. Only I have this one, Spark report. Wow. You see, mm -hmm. master uh, things not working because of the GitHub. Everything is gone. Report. You see, I don't have reports. Because of GitHub, I shared something happened that it was working before. So that's what it is. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, today was a long day, but I hope I helped you guys and I got help a lot from you. Learn too. It did, man. Thank you so much. We really All right. appreciate it. Take care, man. guys. Yep, take care. Have a nice weekend. You everyone. too. Take care, man. Good drinks.